Professor Rowdy Yates, you wrote among your many works a book on drug-free therapeutic communities. What are the characteristics and the plus of this kind of communities? I think the characteristics, the, the, the most important characteristics of therapeutic communities is that they are at root, they are self-help. So they're about structuring the community in such a way that the community helps the individual and the individual can use the community not only to help himself but to help the other people in the community. And uh, your more recent uh, book is about the uh, European pioneers of the therapeutic movement. Uh, what is their legacy? I, I think their legacy sadly is being lost. Um, I, th I think one of the things that's happening all over Europe is the rush towards the new silver bullet. Something, you know, usually from America, a new idea, uh, and it's imposed on therapeutic communities because you have to do, you have to do motivational interviewing and you, you have to do, um, oh, I don't know, uh, there are new ideas all the time. And what we're losing is the basis of therapeutic communities and we need to get back to that route I think and that's one of the things I think we can learn from the pioneers. They understood that, they understood that this is simple. Thank you and uh, you are in San Petrignano, is uh, one of the, the most important uh, European therapeutic community, drug free community. How do you feel being here? Oh, it's great being here. I, I was here a couple of years ago and I, I absolutely love San Patriano. Uh, so it's lovely to be back again and, and seeing some old friends. So it's great, yeah. Thank you, Professor. Thank you.